I think uh, we are now awaiting for this for quite some time now. There was a bit of a dent in sentiment, say in March and April, where the data from uh, the US was stronger than expected, deferring out the rate cuts. Um, I think consensus now is expecting a first rate cut decision from ECB today. If you look at the core inflation numbers, they're trending down towards the target of 2%, not quite there yet. They probably wouldn't get there by the end of this year. And headline inflation is also uh, behaving well. Um, second to that, you also have a pretty decent recovery, um, especially in Germany and France and also Spain. And that's probably anchoring some of the decision behind the ECB to basically start to ease rates as they approach their um, legal targets of 2% inflation overall. This is generally good for risk assets. Um, as you can imagine, for over the past 18 months or two years, all of us are all waiting for global rates to kind of moderate um, after the inflation issue is tackled. Indeed, and that's part of the reason we're seeing global equities seeing some risk return, particularly on Wall Street, which continues to power higher. More fresh record highs here with NVIDIA now worth more than Apple. Do you think the market exuberance has reached fever pitch here? Are these valuations justified? It's hard for me to call on uh, NVIDIA, given that we don't cover it um, uh, intensively in our part of the world. But you can also see the market exuberance being uh, percolated through in terms of the AI uh, hardware IT supply chain within Asia. Uh, we've seen a very decent um, bounce in a lot of the AI-related re uh, semiconductor companies in both Korea, especially as well as Taiwan. And today we have some of the major uh, cap names in Taiwan also staging a fairly nice bounce off the back of NVIDIA uh, results overnight as well. So Asia is definitely benefiting from that. We are positioned in some of these hardware teams within Asia and uh, hopefully it continues. I would also note that the, for the hardware names at least, while we are probably a little, we are probably a above historical norms, we're probably not that stretched in terms of headline PEs from that perspective, if you will.